like that's going to be a really good game. Too. <laughs> Sounds like it will be a really good game and it's time for our first warning weather forecast. But Derek, this seems like a day where you stay in and watch sports or you can go out and enjoy some sports games I, at, I, you know, yeah. local restaurants and whatnot. I think you can do both. Yeah, you know, go outside and, you know, enjoy a nice stroll downtown or what have you and check out the game tonight with the Pelicans. That's so that's right. that's going to be a really good one here uh, coming up this evening. But right now things are starting off pretty quiet. You got a nice blue sky out there. We're still watching some clouds here move in from the west, as you can see on that satellite loop currently playing. And there is more where that came from. I'm still watching them back towards the west over Texas and Mexico. And you can see them moving in towards our general direction off to the east. Also watching, watching an area of high pressure positioned over Texas. That system is going to be a main weather player, giving us some nice conditions as we head into the early part of next week. For our temperatures as you head outside are currently in the 50s or highs today warm up into the mid to upper 60s this afternoon. Probably not as warm as what we had yesterday, but nonetheless, these temperatures this afternoon are expected to be very comfortable. So we did have a uh, small craft advisory in effect that has been allowed to expire. That's because the winds are beginning to settle down. So I'm expecting these breezes here to continue to relax as we head throughout the day here today. Now, other than that, uh, it's a little cool out there currently behind what was a cold front that moved through the other day. We have some northerly winds here still in place across the area, giving us those cool temperature effects that we're currently experiencing. That continues throughout the day. Notice the clouds here moving in from the west. That increases as we head into tonight. High pressure is going to be in place, though. That's going to give us those very quiet and stable weather conditions as we head into early next week. Now we got some changes here. As you can see, by the time we get to Tuesday, notice how the winds start turning up from the southeast. We call that return flow off the Gulf. That's going to help warm up our temperatures. That could increase the moisture a little bit here, too, for Tuesday day leading to some cloudy skies here and uh, we will be tracking some shower and thunderstorm development as a matter of fact but I think the better chances arrive by Wednesday reason being is because we're watching the stationary frontal boundary take shape across the northern Gulf and that could cause some more moisture leading to shower and thunderstorm development and maybe again so as we head into uh, Thursday afternoon here too but we're watching a cold front which is our next system that comes later in the week on Friday, and that could give us a chance of showers and thunderstorms yet again. Some of the models suggest we could be looking at some locally heavy downpours at times, maybe some strong thunderstorms as well, and maybe even some of that lasting into early on over the weekend. And that's because of the uh, frontal boundary is expected to turn possibly nearly stationary, according to some of the computer guidance, that could set off some more showers and thunderstorms across portions of the region. Here's a look now at your WDSU first warning seven day forecast. High temperatures remain in the mid to upper 60s through tomorrow, low 70s Tuesday, mid 70s by Wednesday, and then you can see by Thursday, our high temperatures warm into the low 80s. Highs remain to the low 80s through Saturday. And again, those good chances of showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast, especially for Friday. That could linger into Saturday as well. As far as our low temperatures go, they continue to show low uh, 40s, 50s here over the next few mornings and then warming up into the 60s by Thursday.